How about anonymous? Did we see anonymous? A low staffer. Anonymous turned out to be a guy. I'm trying to figure out, I don't know who the hell this guy is. So the New York Times said, a senior White House official. Nobody knew who he was. This was a, look, we are in big trouble with the press. They are truly the enemy of the people. They are the enemy of the people. So this guy, this guy goes out, his low life. Oh, I never, I never saw him. I think he has a picture of me standing there, like I do with thousands of people. This low life goes out and he writes a book. By the way, when he left, he had nothing but praise for the Trump. Oh, it's incredible, incredible. Then somebody gets him at the New York Times, the fake New York Times, and all of a sudden he becomes nasty. And he writes, and they say, a top White House official. Well, he was a staffer, low had nothing to do with the White House. He had nothing to do. And he goes in, and you know what? There should be major criminal liability for some scum like this. And you know, for a year, everybody walks into my office, Secretary of State Pompeo. I could name every one of them, all good people. I'm looking at them and saying, I wonder if that could be the one, right? You know? And it turns out to be this low life that nobody knows who the hell he is. He had nothing to do with us. I don't think I ever met him, and I might have met him. I think somebody said, he has a picture of me standing someplace. This is a disgrace to our country. It shouldn't happen, and he should be prosecuted. Are you listening to me back in Washington? He should be prosecuted. <laughs> Along with the New York Times, because it was a story made up, it was fake news made up by the New York Times. And you know who he works for now? CNN. He works for CNN right there. See the camera right there with the light that just went off. It just See that, honey? That red light just went off. Fake news, CNN. And Anderson Cooper. And Anderson Cooper asked him, are you anonymous? And he lied to him. He said, no, essentially. <laughs> said, no, I'm not. And he works for CNN. I would think CNN would be firing him about, but this is a real low life. You know who else he works for? Google. He works for Google. I think Google should fire him very quickly because bad things are going to happen to him. But think of what he does to our government. Right? It's like a, a horrible, treasonous, horrible thing that you can do this and you can get away with it. Weekly jobless claims. This is boring, but it's really good. Just hit a seven-month low. In other words, from the beginning of the pandemic, seven months ago. No, we're going to have next year the best year we've ever had economically. And it's true. Biden is holding back the stock market because, you know, it's an election. Crazy things could happen. Maybe 100 percent of the people in Florida decide not to vote. You know, you never know. But we have a headwind, so it's gone down a little bit over the last few days because, you know, you're coming close, and it could be. We're going to win this election so big. You watch. You watch. We're going to win it so big. And that's the only reason the market's going down. The market's going down because if he gets in, Seriously, you're going to have one of the worst depressions we've ever had. You're going to have, and John Roberts from Fox is back there, and I think he agrees. And John Roberts is very unhappy because he doesn't want his 401k to go down the tubes. Now, John's treated us very fairly. Not perfect. He's not perfect, I will say. But he's been overall pretty good. He's pretty good. So CNN, Google, we got to do something about all of it. New York Times is fake. It's fake. They write so many fake stories. Thanks to our policies, America is experiencing the fastest and biggest recovery. We're having the best recovery anywhere in the world. No other country, small or large, is recovering like us. Think of that. In the past five months, we've created a record 11.4 million American jobs, the fastest job growth in the history of our country. Our job growth has been 23 times faster than the first five months under Obama-Biden recovery, which was, by the way, the worst recovery since the Great Depression.
depression. You do know that, right? And just, you know, because all, all Biden does is talks about COVID, right? He doesn't call it the China virus. You know why? Because China hasn't paid off. He can't use that term. You know, they gave his son one and a half billion to manage. He makes millions of dollars a year, I assume, right? The smartest guys on Wall Street said, no, sir, that could not